Hey everyone, it's Sophia from Velvet Way. Um, today's video is a little bit different for me. I've never done this type of video, but yesterday I had a huge crafting day. I was just, you know, doing resin crafting all day. And today I figured I would unmold some of the stuff I've made. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few of them. I have some more here. Um, all of them are... Um, sticker resin pieces which I haven't done in like quite a while so I really wanted to you know get back to my passion so let's go okay so the first thing I think I'm gonna want to unmold is the little um, seashell let's see let's see how this came out There we go. So, oh, is it gonna focus? Yeah, so this one came out pretty nice. There's no bubbles on the surface or anything like that. And the cool thing is that I don't have to dome it because I overfilled the mold a little bit to kind of give the effect of doming. Really cute. Let's do this one next. This is a Halloween charm, I believe, and I'm not sure how it's gonna look. Okay interesting hmm I don't hate it I don't love it I don't think the green looks that good the reason I put green in it is because I used some glow-in-the-dark glitter it's the kind of blue iridescent stuff you see in there kind of around the sticker um, so I thought it would maybe look good but to be honest I'm not a huge fan of the green let's do the cat Oh, this one's kind of hard. This is my first time using this mold. Oh, there we go. Oh, There we go. Okay, so this is the little cat charm that I made using some cat stickers. And this one came out quite cute, actually. I really do like it. There's some, um, there's some kind of flower charms in it that I put but you can't really see it, unfortunately, because um, the glitter is too opaque and it's kind of uh, masking it out. But really cute, and also don't need to dome. Let's do the hearts. So these, these three are all Rilakkuma themed and this is like the French Rilakkuma theme. I really like that um, French style. And this one is super glitterly, glittery <laughs> because the stickers themselves are also glittery so it's kind of glitter overload. And the crazy part is I had put some sort of half pearl beads in it but you can't even see that because of that glitter. I mean, you can kind of see it, but not too much. So there's that one. Let's do this one. All right. This one's really cute. I really like that one. I think because it has a bit more detail in it. And the third one. Oh, this one's really cute too. And oh, I thought that was a bubble, but no, that's just a piece of glitter. Awesome. So here's those three. Definitely like these two better than this one, but still. Really cute pieces. Okay, let's do the circles this time. So these are kind of vintage cat themed and oh no come on camera focus do you see that that's a bubble on the surface wah, wah, wah. oh that sucks i mean they're really cute though it's like a vintage cat with like a holographic glitter background you can't really see the hollow because of the lighting but it's there that's too bad. Let's hope this one is 
bit better. Is there any bubbles? I can't see. Um, I think there is. Oh, there it is. This one's not as bad though, so I don't mind it. It's so cute. Look at these cats. Oh. All right. Let's do these hearts. These hearts are so difficult to unmold for some reason. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! So these ones have these really cute dessert sort of sparkle theme. And I love them. They look so cute. These would make great charms. So there's this one, and this one should be similar. I can just unmold it. Come on, camera. There we go. How cute is that? I love these. They will look cool as earrings. I mean, they'd be pretty big earrings, but I don't know. There's just something about them. Okay, now we have this one left, and there's a couple in here. And I made kind of sets of them, so maybe I can make like a really long, um, keychain. So here's the small one. Ooh, and it's a little Rilakkuma lemon themed one with a pink, sort of really light pink background. So cute! Let's do the middle one. There we go. You got Rilakkuma and Kiratori here. Adorable! And the biggest one, oh, let's see what we've got here. Rilakkuma and Kirillakuma with some lemons. They're so cute. Wow. Look at these. Hmm. Alright, let's do the circles. We'll start with the big one this time. So this is sort of unicorn themed one with little gemstone stickers. Really cute. And the tiny one has a little moon and a little cloud and some sparkles. Adorable. Okay, let's do these ones now. Ooh, this one's stuck. There we go. This one is really fun. Oh, is that some is that mold stuck to the piece? Oh no. I've never had that happen to me before. That's crazy. Anyway, so this is um a Tokidoki popcorn themed one. Um I got some of these stickers in um Madrid, Spain, where I lived for a year, and uh I was shopping at Primark like every day we don't have Primark in Canada and they have so much Tokidoki stuff in there and I got so many of these stickers because I thought they were so cute so here's the big one let's get the small one. Oh, adorable and the very tiny one. This one just has little popcorn pieces. How cute. They have little faces. There we go. So I'm going to dome these and make them into proper pieces eventually. Um, it's going to be a lot of work though. So here we have all of them. I'm just going to put them all out so you can see them all. Ooh, there we go. So tell me, which one is your favorite that I've unmolded today? 
out and uh, if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!